Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five fast farms that you need in your survival world. With that being said, let's jump straight on into the video. For fast farm number one, we have got the incredibly fast witch farm. Not only is this fast to build, but it produces which is, or should I say, like loot, pretty fast as well. Now, this system does rely on a trident killer, but as you can hear already, just from me standing over there, we have actually made some witches spawn. So if I were to turn on this trident killer and hold my looting three sword, yeah, we're actually going to get some uh, new loot. Now, you can see from this witch farm, you can get a variety of different things, including potions. You're going to get some sugar, some sticks, some spider eyes, and most importantly to me, you're going to get some gunpowder. Oh, yeah. You can get redstone as well. Okay, so what I've done, as you can see, is emptied the chest completely. Now, I do actually uh, need to kind of remove them. Well, maybe I can just let them de- Damn it, I didn't want to pick them up. That was so annoying. Well, anyway, yeah, I've emptied both chests entirely. Let me show you both chests very quickly again. What I'm going to do is fly up there, and we're going to go AFK on this system. Remember, you do need a looting three sword for this specific system. So yeah, let me get up there. And by the time I'm done AFK in, uh, that loot should be disappeared anyway, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to hold my looting three sword, and I shall be back in a second. Sweet, it's been around about five minutes, so let's go and see what we've been able to acquire. Of course, it would be night time. Let's go down here and check our chest. In fact, first, let's turn this thing off. And yeah, let's check the chest. And oh damn, you can see that we've got a variety of different stuff. Again, remember, this has just been after five minutes. I'm going to take that gunpowder right now. I'm also going to have a look in this chest. And wow, we've got pretty much exactly the same stuff. I've got another 10 gunpowders. So that was 20 gunpowders in five minutes. That's pretty good. And as I said, we've got other stuff as well, including potions, which is pretty nice. This farm for me is a must-have in your survival world. As I said, not only is it fast production, but it is really fast to build as well. And if you do want to build this, I'm going to put a full tutorial in the description below. Let's get on to the next one. Next on the list, I'm going to show you a farm that Mojang actually nerfed around about two years ago. But even still, after the nerf... It is still going strong and still as fast and OP as ever. Now, to show you this farm, I'm going to have to go through the nether. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I get to use my new portal again. Nice. And now we're in the nether. Just a, a quick trip over here and we are at the farm. Now, as I said, this farm actually got nerfed by Mojang because it was so OP. However, they nerfed it. But it is still incredibly OP and incredibly fast. Let me show you this thing in action. Now, all you need to actually fuel this farm is a little bit of gold. And yeah, I've just got some right here. Oh my god, I can hear something bad happening. Ah, run! Let's go! Ah, damn it! Ah! This is, this is not good. Ah! Ha! Ah. They're no match for me. Anyway, as I was saying, all you need to fuel this farm is some gold. I'm going to put three stacks of gold in there. I think that should be enough to show you this farm in action. I'm going to flick this switch, and you will notice the piglin instantly start to throw items into the farm. Now, this part of the farm is actually another system altogether. It is a storage system, but I had to add it because this thing is so OP. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, no! Dude! Waste man. Ah, ah. Wait, they're immobilized. Are they immobilized? Yes. Run away from me. Run away, I say. Fear me. Fear me, piglins. Fear me. I've unlocked a power. Fear me. Run from me. That's right. Run from the great it's me, James. Run, I tell you. Ah. Don't run and die. Run. I warned you. Run. Run. Dude, I am not going to lie. I have no idea what just happened. I don't know why they was running away from me. 
Anyway, I can turn the pinkling trading system off now. As I said, this thing is incredibly OP. I had to add this storage system because it is so OP. Some of the items that, that you can receive from this farm include iron. So it is his very own iron farm. And as you can see... I am not sure of iron nuggets at all. Some other useful items include leather, fire charges, string, crying obsidian, and literally a bunch more. You can even get nether quartz, which you can actually add to the new armor trim. So yeah, I've got loads of them. If you don't have one of these in your world, you are totally missing out. This farm has not broken in over two years. I have not had to rebuild it, only ever add a storage system. So yeah, farm number two, the OP Pigling Trading Station. Next on the list, we've got the multi-use bone meal farm. Now this thing can produce bamboo, sugarcane, big drip leaf, and twisted vines. I'm pretty sure that's everything that you can make in this. I mean, if I forgot anything, I'm pretty sure someone's going to let me know. Not only does it produce fast products, but this farm is really fast to build as well. The items you need to build it are in this chest. I'm not going to read them out because it will save me a little bit of time in this video. So yeah, let's get on to this. First things first, we need to do a little bit of digging so we can add our chest and hoppers. We're going to remove three blocks here like so. And then we're going to remove another three. And then next to these three, we're going to remove one here and one here. And this one at front is going to be for the torch placed on there. And this one on the floor is going to be for our redstone dust. At the front here, let's place a double chest. And at the back of that double chest, let's go ahead and place a hopper. Of course, it would start raining. Damn it. Well, the show must go on. At this point, this part of the system has actually changed slightly. What we're going to do is add our rail to one behind the hopper. Normally, it would be on the hopper. And on top of the rail, let's add our hopper minecart. At this point, we're going to want to push this block into this hopper minecart. But first of all, we need a solid block here. And we can add a couple solid blocks here just so the piston doesn't push any more blocks than we want. Right, let's add our piston and our lever. And yeah, we're going to push that. But you can see it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because we need to take out the rail. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out this rail. I've got to dig three down, remove the rail, and I'm free to go back up. At this point, I can pull the lever and it will go in the block that we want, which is this one. And now we can remove this and literally fill up any unnecessary blocks. We can also remove the blocks in front of the chest. Remember, do not remove this one. Oh, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. Now, simply add a bucket of water just here next to the hopper minecart. We're going to have a dispenser facing where we want to grow the items. We're going to remove this block and have a repeater. You want to make sure to click that once like that. At this point, we can turn off the system by simply placing a lever on this block and flicking it. And now we're free to use the glass. I'm going to place one here. I'm also going to place three here. So that's one, two, and of course, three. On top of this one, I'm going to place a piece of glass. And on top of this one, we're going to have our piston facing this way. Now, on top of that piston, we're going to want our observer facing inwards like so so the face is facing inwards and then we can just finish that off with a little piece of glass so let me crouch and put some glass here and of course we're going to want some glass on the front so i'm going to place a block glass and then a temporary piece of glass and then the final piece of glass i'm going to remove this bit and add a stair upside down so i can access the farm i'm gonna add a final piece of glass here and apparently i'm one piece of glass short i have no idea where the glass is gone well i'm pretty sure i had enough anyway well i'm gonna have to use a block of this tinted glass to finish it off and yeah there we go that's finished all i need to do is add some redstone here another thing you can do is add a trap door to the top which is exactly what i'm going to do i'm also going to remove that piece of dirt so to do that i'm going to jump down here and i should be able to remove it Oh, I just can't see it. What a shame. Going to have to remove the piece of wood at the front. Remove the dirt and replace the stair. Perfect. Now, all I need to do is add my bone meal and then add my bamboo or whatever item I'm going to be growing. And yeah, we are good to go. And that is how to build the multi-purpose bone meal farm. And I know what you're thinking. This farm is all right. The only problem is, dude, we need bone meal. 
And do not worry, the next farm on this list is going to provide you with just that. Next on the list is the Super OP Kelp Farm. Now, this thing relies on no fuel whatsoever. It literally produces its own kelp. And if you didn't know, if you put kelp through a composter, you can get bone meal. So, using this super OP kelp farm, we will literally have an unlimited access to bone meal. But it doesn't just stop there. See, you can smelt kelp with kelp blocks, and in turn, that will make dried kelp. And if you let this build up in a furnace a little bit, you can actually receive a little bit of XP. You're going to want to bulk this up massively to actually receive any decent amounts of XP. But yeah, no, you can actually receive some. I'm not really sure why I didn't on that. But yeah, I don't, I don't think you receive it every single time. And that is exactly why you need to bulk this system up and have more than one furnace. But literally, as soon as you've got some dried kelp, there are a number of things you can do with this dried kelp. You can you can eat it if you were, uh, of course, starving, which I am at the moment. Or you could turn the dried kelp into a dried kelp block. And with that dried kelp block, as I said, you could use for fuel to get some more dried kelp. Or you could quite literally sell them to villagers for emeralds. I mean, kelp for emeralds, I'm sold. As I said at the start, this farm is 100% zero tick, meaning it has no fuel. Now, if you want to build this, I suggest you build this right now as these sort of farms normally get patched ASAP. I'm going to leave a full tutorial of this farm in the description below. Oh, damn. I better turn this off before, literally, I run out of room entirely. And last but no means least on this list, we have the OP Gold Farm. Now, I have two of these in my world. I have the Quad OP Gold Farm. This one is for a little bit later game. However, this first one is a single portal gold farm. And this thing seriously still busts out the gold and XP as well. The speed of the production of one single portal on this farm is absolutely insane insane let me show you this farm will produce golden nuggets golden ingots rotten flesh which we can actually sell to villagers for emeralds in fact we can also sell the gold if we really want to and we also get golden swords some of these might be enchanted so you can disenchant those for a little bit of extra xp as well what i'm going to do is completely empty the chest and you can see i'm quite literally just wasting the items that is because th this farm is just so op literally the farm produces so many items so you can see i've completely emptied the farm of all of its items i've got no items in the chest i'm gonna do a quick afk session on this one once again first things first we need to turn on the farm and straight away you will notice how many piglins will start to come out we just got a double piglin there straight away followed by another one and repeatedly more and more piglins will start to spawn at this point we want to be holding our looting three sword and turning on our trident killer because this is what's going to give us all of the lovely loot and also xp as well so i'm going to stand here so i can uh, receive some of that xp hopefully it will fix my armor all right, well, it's been a little bit shorter than five minutes, but I can't really be bothered to wait. Let's go and turn off the farm. And, uh, yeah, just wait a few seconds for all of these guys to die. And, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Let's go. Now let's go down and turn off our trident killer. And one thing I've noticed, for some reason, I've not actually received any XP, which is, I don't know, kind of strange. What? Dude, the trident killer's not been working. How the... Well, that was annoying. I didn't even realize that. I suppose we're going to have to do a little bit more of an AFK session. I've thrown the tridents back in. Let me turn this thing on. And let's actually see if this thing is going to work. I hope tridents are not broken. And I do hope that that was my alt account instead of me. Let's have a look. All right, yeah, I've seen a little bit of XP there. I don't know if you've seen that. i definitely seen a little bit of XP there, right? Oh, yeah, my helmet's fixed now. So we definitely did receive a bit of XPs. Yeah, there you go. So I just wasn't the guy who threw in the tridents. It was my alt account. But you can see, yeah, many piglins are going to fall into this trident killer now. And now we should actually receive ingots and swords as well. And already you can see how much faster this is when you've got a trident killer on. Oh my god, this is insane. I mean, it's kind of annoying how the trident killer wasn't working straight away. But, I mean, yeah, this will do. I'll show you how much we get after this guy dies. So, let's go and have a look. We can turn up the trident killer so it's nice and peaceful. And, yeah, just after literally a few seconds, boom, we've got so much stuff.
And nice, my Elite Drought has been fixed as well. So yeah, this is a really good source of XP if you want to fix any of your tools. And if this sort of farm does it interest you, I'm going to put a full tutorial in the description below. But not only that, what I'll do is put the quad tutorial in the description as well, just in case you want to make things super, super OP. There we go, guys. That is the end of today's video. I do hope that this helps you out in your world. And with the 1.20 update just around the corner, I do hope hope that you're prepared for that as well. Now, if you're not, I've got a video showing you 20 must-do things in preparation for the update. So yeah, if you haven't seen that, feel free to watch that. But that's all I've got time for today. I will catch you on the next one.